Hello, beautiful people. It's the second episode of the Gazy's podcast. I am Mr. Gazy. That's my very beautiful wife, juicy, elegant, <laughs> best friend, Rita Gazy. What's up, guys? How are you doing today? I hope y'all are doing just as good as we are over here. Oh, yeah. Yes, babe. All right, before we continue, guys, the podcast will be streaming live on iTunes. Google and Spotify is being set up now. When it's all ready, we'll let you guys know, and you're gonna have all the extended episodes on there, so we'll keep you updated. But for this second episode, we titled it Best Friends. Mm -hmm. Gonna spill all the tea on how we met, go ahead, how we were friends, became best friends, went into a relationship, and now we're at this point. Are you ready for me to dig all the dead out? Go ahead, all right, cool. So, guys. The first place we met was in church. We sure did. Yep. Yep. yep and yep. honestly, you were not the person I was looking at in the beginning. I, is that a confession? Because nobody said anything. I'm being totally nobody honest. Nobody said you were looking at somebody. <laughs> you said that's where we first met, and I'm just yes, letting you know. I didn't say you were looking at me. You know what? All Are right, Mr. Gazy. All right. But yes, I really was not paying attention to him at first. Nobody but, said that, though. <laughs> but we were, you know, we became very good friends. I remember we used to ovu each other back back then. It used to be ovu. Now it's time out. Who and who used to do it? I don't it remember used, being part of hello, it. Hello. <laughs> it used to, we used to ovu together. We were talking. We were literally, I, I literally told know what that means. <laughs> whatever. You said be honest. I'm letting everybody okay, know. Okay. You know, um. That's what we used to do in the beginning, guys. And we were like, literally, I told them everything. At that time, I was like, you know, semi going through my own breakup or whatnot at the time. So Ooh, it's getting hot. <laughs> I spilled the tea to him. I told him what was going on. And he was like, you know, as a good friend, he was truly there for me. You know, what, what would you say? Was I? I mean, through the good and bad way you use me for props I and used uh, everything. You? <laughs> so guys, that I'm gonna spill the first tea. This this one right here, right? Going through her breakup, saw me. I was I was more handsome then. I had my thing going on. Wanted to get back to her ex of whatever time that was. We had a little walk on the park, knew exactly where the guy was gonna be <laughs> at the very exact time. This girl walked, we were walking together, and boom, that was the guy right there. For her to pull her hand and hold me to get that jealousy play card out, right? And this boy, unfortunately, fell for it. Come see how happy this girl was. <laughs> As a friend, I was happy for her, all right? But I felt like, at least give me heads up. Let me, let me understand what's going on so we do it right, right? My but then she gosh. swore that wasn't what happened, right? My right? gosh. Anyway, that was the case. I know you remember it. I remember it very well, oh, but okay. like, sheesh, I didn't know you was gonna spill, go deep, deep down into that. But okay, we, we said we were spilling, we spilling tea, so I mean, since you brought that up, well, you know, well, you have that on me. It wasn't even that. Oh, okay. I was young, and I didn't know. So then you did it, I, and I apologize. I, I, oh, finally, <laughs> finally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I apologize. Well, you know. we became good friends on. We've been in and out. We know, we knew everything that was going on. We pretty much had conversations every time. We did. Got our little fights here and there. We did, even we as knew. friends. We knew all the debt uh, everybody did. Sure did. <laughs> which was a struggle when we started dating because it was like, I know how you are. and You're definitely not doing this again. You know, guys, that is one thing. If you guys are friends, right, and you know... How the person behaved before, don't carry it on because most likely oh. 
they I'm enjoying this thing right now. <laughs> most likely it changed. And honestly, I think that's where um issues come because when you start going deep into somebody's past, you literally start opening can of worms that doesn't really need to be there. First of all, she's making it sound like I was a bad guy. I wasn't I mean, just he, to put he, it out there. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't, but what I'm saying is that's what usually happens. Like you use somebody's past and then you use it against them and then yep. it causes arguments every single time. And I'm saying like, you know, just kind of stray away from that but yes i mean we were best friends we didn't know a lot about each other i mean i used to go to his school wait for him and things like that <laughs> in his classroom he thought i was cock blocking him that was definitely what you were doing honestly i was literally i come out of class and this girl is right in front of my door <laughs> when i'm working with four other female friends like Okay. Listen, <laughs> I had to make myself known. Oh I had to be God. there. At that time, that's when I started feeling for him. But yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we started feeling for each other. And then next thing you know, it led to other things. And we decided, what was it? April 14th, 2014. I remember the day very well. I don't remember the day. He was going to California that, that morning. I don't remember the day. And then he said, babe. Can you be my girlfriend? You you were spilling a lot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at first I was like, why? Because you're going to California. You want to ask me to be, wait, are you trying to like prove something? I didn't, I didn't know, but you Let's know. Let's just say I was trying to be a nice person to have, have you feel comfortable of me going away for you not to think anything crazy. Let's just say But that. you were genuine. You really wanted me to be a girlfriend, no? Mm, yes. <laughs> I didn't like that answer. It's still a yes. Whatever. I was trying to get my memory back, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, so that's how it started. But when he got back, we started things rolling. We were going on days. And in the process, we got to know each other. But honestly, it was a rough road. <laughs> I mean, we that's are two me. different People. completely different people. different he was born a certain way i was born a certain way and guys please remember do not automatically assume that the person is gonna start acting the way you act no yep. like i said it takes a lot of talking and compromisation to be able to get a relationship going and when i tell you that me and him are two different people we are two different people and we argued <laughs> almost <laughs> like a every day every other I day we used to fight Cause growing up in Ghana, if I c the greeting over there is "Hi, sweetie," "Hi, dear," "Hi, boo," it means nothing. It's just a greeting. Versus here, I got to know the most you could do is say "Hi, hun." Anything apart from oh, that, you're in trouble. Definitely. I don't. Why? Why? Why must it be so? You know what? That could be another episode. Honestly, why must it be so though? I still don't understand it. Yeah, like, like I know. I will give you that. We will discuss that in a different episode. But right now, <laughs> we're just going to continue with our journey right. of how we met. Well, I take um, that. that could be episode number three, guys. Vote below. <laughs> just let us know. But, um, yeah, so we literally, we were fighting and things like that. And it literally got to points where it's like, you know what? I don't know. But then we started fasting, we prayed, and we did... Can I drop the emergency in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> we did... <laughs> we did a dirt, whole lot. Dirt. I'm not hurt. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep that out. One day, one day I'll drop it. Maybe one day I'll let you t tell that story. But if that's what the people want, maybe. But no, um... <laughs> We literally, we fasted and we prayed and we talked it out and things like that. We want, we really wanted it. Like we, it was a mutual thing that we didn't want to separate. And, um, I think because we had that discussion, we were willing to keep on trying. And I think that yep. is very important when you, you know, in a relationship, don't automatically give up unless it's like you, you cannot take it. But I would say literally fast and pray about a lot of things because it literally could open doors or it could open your mind about uh, certain things that you're probably worried about or whatnot in your relationship. Yep. And you we know. did grow, though. And I appreciate you. It's, it's been a lot of growing and changing, trying to understand each other. I think you did really yep, well yourself. Yep. And you that's did, you did why, awesome. and that is why 
you know, we got married. It, it was a journey. And if like, like we mentioned, it started off from just being friends and we grew and we learned everything about each other. And when I mean everything, we learned everything. Everything. And, and that's that's when I finally decided to propose on your birthday. Because at that point, I realized, okay, there's been a lot of the willingness to change to um, get to kind of my level or try and understand how my thought process was made me see that, okay, this is actually something that is, is meant for the long run. So I had to make it happen. I tried. And thank you for proposing to me on my birthday. I think it was awesome. <laughs> you were sweating and everything. Because <laughs> I was nervous. When I'm nervous, guys, I start sweating. That's just me. But, yeah, um, we started planning. I don't think we started planning right away. But no, that right will away. be maybe a different episode yeah. where we talk about the planning of the, planning wedding. Of the wedding because that the was also that was also one of those things that's just like oh my god like <laughs> i don't know about this here <laughs> it turned out great though I had it a turned lot out of great according to everybody yep, it was a yep. beautiful wedding yep. but um yeah so guys moral of the story is basically we you know being friends getting to know each other is a great way of you know having a strong relationship and we just wanted to make sure that we knew each other very well before actually like getting into this and i think we did that though yep. we had our ups and downs you know i love you for the fact that you stood by me even though things were down and whatnot you were there for me you were always like my Aww. friend and i appreciate you and i love You're welcome, you welcome baby i love <laughs> you too and forever well thank you guys for you know, watching this we should episode. Go into the next episode. Maybe we should talk about something to build on this. We we would we would probably do a part two. Sweet. But sweet. um we thank you guys for watching. Like we said, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Um we just wanted to thank you all. And also, please make sure you let us know what topics you guys want us to discuss. We just want to thank SD Great Clothing. They are our number one sponsors number of this one. thing. We want to thank Daniel Afo, David Afo, Suzanne Kwanza, and Samuel Kwanza, who are behind the scenes. And we also want to thank all of you guys who's been out there, who's been supporting us. We thank you guys. We love you. Watch out for the next episode. We do appreciate you. See you next episode, guys. Love y'all. Gazies out. out. <laughs>